For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. On Sunday, November 21st, Venezuela will hold elections to choose 3,082 public positions, including governors, state deputies, mayors, and councillors. In total, there are around 70,000 candidates. Members of 130 national and regional political organizations will be taking part in the elections. After six years of boycotting elections, the four biggest opposition parties called the G4, consisting of Democratic Action, Om Novo Tempo, Popular Will and First Justice, will be participating. According to the latest opinion polls, 60% of the electorate is expected to turn out for the polls. The United Nations and other multilateral bodies, apart from the European Union, Russia and the United States have sent international observers to monitor the electoral process. The European Union has not sent electoral observers to Venezuela in 15 years. The National Electoral Council signed an agreement with the European Mission which foresees, among other things, the non-interference in the results of the elections. The participation of the opposition and the EU mission are byproducts of the dialogue process going on between the Venezuelan government and opposition forces based out of Mexico. This process has been put on hold following the illegal extradition of Alex Saab to the United States but made significant advances in warming relations between the far-right opposition and the constitutional government. In addition to the various electoral observation agreements, the National Electoral Council of Venezuela agreed to monitor the elections with the Council of Electoral Specialists of Latin America or CELA. CELA is a group of 50 former electoral magistrates from across the region who have been in the country for over a month. 350,000 soldiers will be deployed across the country to help with the logistics and security of voting centers and the headquarters of strategic companies in the country. There will be at least 10 military personnel per polling center in addition to the Bolivarian brigades which will help with the biosecurity measures. Venezuela was the first country to implement biometric voting in Latin America and with the new electoral software, the act of voting takes less than one minute. The entire system undergoes a total of 16 audits accompanied by inspectors appointed by the political parties and by academics in the area of information systems. The upcoming elections are seen as a barometer for both the government and the opposition as they will be the last electoral process before the 2024 presidential elections. For Chavismo, it will be a time to measure its popularity and for the biggest opposition parties, the process represents their resounding return to the polls.